Mama. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? Answer. 29. No, no. Say it with pride. I am 29 years old. Or are you ashamed of your age? <sighs> Mom, why should I be? Why won't you be? 29. No good job. No relationship. No life. Just ordinary, plain 29 years old. So tell me why won't you be ashamed? When you are just a digit away from 30 years. Oh, Mom, please. Thanks for your birthday wishes. I am not done with you yet. When will you marry? This year? Next year? Or forever? You don't want to marry at all, Abby. But what I have is my top skin skins, so I cooked you up with that baby. Thank you. <laughs> so, Chef Lala, let me try. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lala, you know what? I'm sorry, but I have to take back the title I just called you. Mommy! Yes. Let me have it. No! It's my birthday. Mm. Well, it's my food. And it's my birthday. Thank you. You can have as much as you want. <laughs> mm. I like this. Ella, the food is ready. Thank you, Auntie Rose. Auntie Grace, can I eat outside? Outside? Why? No.
e se ensinar a ser? Estás no novo business. É bom de food. Why? Because I've been seeing you sitting down here for a long time. And I guess you haven't eaten since you got back from school today. I don't eat noodles. Oh. Thank you, though. And I'm sorry I was rude. Do you eat cake? Do you have cake? How did I have so much delicious cake in your house? Yesterday was my mom's birthday. Mm. Happy birthday to her. You look hungry. Mm -hmm. Do you want more cake? Lala! Yes, mom. Lala. Hello, what happened to this cake? You almost finished it. Oh, I see. No wonder you couldn't sleep last night because you had so much sugar in your system, right? Mm -hmm. Shh. To your room. Now! How can you do this? Hello, hi. Um, I'm the new neighbor. Oh. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you very much. Um, Dad, aren't you going to introduce me? I thought you met her already. No? Where is Ella? You met Ella already? Yes, yeah, she brought me cake yesterday. Oh. Uh, well, I came to express my gratitude because um, yesterday I was involved in a little bit of a situation that led to uh, a police case. But it's all sorted now, you know. I couldn't make it back in time for when the school bus drops Alex or, you know. You said your daughter made sure he had something to eat. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, excuse me, please, can I have more? Alex, come on, son. Dad, you better ask for yours because I'm not sharing mine with you. I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> no, it's sorry. fine. Um, what's the name again? Alex. Alex, sure you can have more, okay? Come in, come in. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. It's fine, come in. <laughs> Girl, please give me a gist. Tell me, like, did, did he ask for his own share? Mm -mm. You didn't need to. I cut two separate portions for him. Oh, yeah. Mm, I see your eyes. Yes, and you at the Sua, you have to tell me where you got the cake. Because the Kenny wants to know. Wait, hold on. Who is the Kenny? The father or the son? The father. Oh, I see. So we're not on first name basis. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't get stupid taught, okay? We just met. And besides, He's my neighbor, okay? <coughs> hmm. Oh, you came back early today. Yes. Guess what? I came back because I wanted to make you your favorite meal. <laughs> I'm sure you like it. Um, Lala, your new friend Alex and his dad were here this morning. Really? Yes. And they came to say thanks to you. My baby. I'm sorry about the other night, okay? And mommy is so proud of you for showing kindness to someone else. You still hungry with mommy? It's not about the cake. Then what is it? One of my friends at school called me a daddy's child. What? Who? 
Doesn't matter, Mom. It's the truth. Uh, it's not the truth. Yes, it is. Lala, listen to me. It's not. Then where is my dad? Daddy, you have a call. Uh, who is it? It's her. She's calling back. <sighs> Hello. Yeah. No. I mean, I was going to... Okay. Yeah. She wants to talk to you. I want to talk to her. Hello? Lala, are you sure you're not hungry? Once I pack those food in the fridge, you're not having anything until dinner. Baby. No hungry. Not until you tell me about my daddy. Lala. I've told you before. You don't have a father, okay? But my teacher in school said that all kids have daddies and mommies. That your teacher must be very silly. Mom. I told you already, you do not have a father, and that is final. I'm tired of Susan and all those other bullies telling me that I'm a deadless child. Uh, you want to know about your father, right? His name is Stanley. And where is he? I don't know. He left. He never wanted you. Hey, Lala, where are you going? Stop! I'm going to ride my bicycle. Don't leave this compound, okay? Mommy loves you! I love you! I never cry. So are you going to tell me what happened? Today, a girl named Susie. We used to be best friends. Until I beat her to first position. Since then she hates me. That doesn't make sense. Why would she hate you for doing well? I don't know, but since then she has been saying nasty things to me. Oh. And today in school. She called me a deadliest child in front of everybody. That's not a good thing to say. Susie must be a bad girl. Did you report her to your teacher? Well, I told my mommy. And what did she say? She said that my daddy didn't want me. I, I feel like I did something bad. That's why my daddy didn't want me. My mommy didn't want me to. Mommy's so not the only one. We should be best friends. Mm, maybe. Since you don't have a mommy and I don't have a daddy, I can tell my mommy to be your mommy. And you can tell your daddy to be my daddy. <laughs> See? That's why I call you Smalley. It doesn't work like that. 
Your mommy has to marry my daddy before your mommy can be my own mommy. Oh. Lala. Ella. Will your mom will your daddy agree to marry my mommy? I don't know. Come on, we can be one big happy family. And no one will call me daddy less again. Lala. You said you were going to ride your bicycle. I was playing with Alex. Good evening, Ma. How are you? Fine, thank you. And your parents? It's just my dad and I. Just like you and I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Um, we'll see you later, okay? Okay, All thank right, you. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> Breakfast for the second time in two weeks. Aren't I lucky, Mom? Yes, you are. That's my girl. <laughs> I made it just the way you like it, with plenty of sugar and cream. And you forgot to mention Auntie Grace helped you. Auntie Grace only helps me to boil the hot water. I mix the coffee and the cream myself. Wow, that's my girl. High five. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. But Mommy has to go brush and have my bath because I have an important meeting this morning and I'll be back okay wow <laughs> mommy can I ask you something Ella you know you can ask mom anything I want a daddy Ella, we already talked about this. I know. I don't want that daddy. I want a new daddy. What are you saying? I want Alexis' dad to be my dad. What? <laughs> So I don't see what is funny. What? Even your own daughter knows that you need a man. Oh, like I don't know I need one. So, what's stopping you from getting one? This is what you know. You know it's always ending in tears once they learn that I'm a single mom. That's true. You know it takes someone who is man enough to Accept one else's child as his. Exactly. And it's why you remember Kunle, the one that proposed to me, and three months later he said to me that Ella would not move in with us after our wedding. Oh, please, that idiot. I don't even want to talk about him, please. I don't know, but I'm, this one's tired. Oh, yeah, we have a meeting with you, Nick. It's time. We need to run, like, now. Auntie Grace, someone's knocking at the door. Ella, please get the door. I'm in the toilet. Okay. Hi, Ella. Hi. Who is it, Ella? It's Alex. So what are you washing? Cartoon. Mm -hmm. So what class are you in? Basic five, you? Basic four. I'm one year ahead of you, you ought to call me senior. Whatever I say, senior. 
It's delicious. My mom makes them. Your mom makes cookies? Yeah, she only does it on Sundays. That's the only day she doesn't work. And her favorite thing to do is to bake. So. My dad is a terrible cook. We have to call someone to cook for us twice a week. Whenever we want to eat, we just microwave. That sounds cool. Not at all. I want a mommy that can cook and bake for me like you're enjoying. My mommy is the best. Ella, I told my daddy about that plan. And... Good evening, Dad. Hey, son. How are you doing today? I'm fine. My G. What did you have for me? My results. Oh, okay. Let's see how you did this term. Let's see. Let's see. Drum roll. What? Straight A's. Again. High five. That's my champ. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy, I'm happy. This is really nice, okay? What do you want, okay? We have to celebrate. What do you want? Anything you want, I'll do it for you. A picnic. I've what never a... had a picnic before. A picnic? Yes. Are you sure? You don't want a game or something like that? You already bought the PS5. Okay, so you want a picnic? Yes. You've got a picnic. Okay? Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> My G. <laughs> um, Dad, can we also bring Ella and her mom? Hmm. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if they would want to, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll tell Ella in the morning. I'm sure she'll love to. Well, you want a picnic? You've got a picnic. Okay? Alright. This, I'm happy. I have to go keep this before I finish my, the dishes. Thanks. High five. That's my G. Thank Come you, on. Dad. You're welcome. No, thank you for making me look good. I look like daddy of the year now. So do you think your mommy will agree? I don't think so. When I told her, she just started laughing and told me never to speak of it again. Well, that's it then. There's nothing we can do. And I still wouldn't have a daddy. Well, you have me. And what are you? As a big brother. You can only be my big brother if... My mommy agrees to marry your daddy. This is all so hard. You know, I never thought we would actually sign a defender like Varan. Did you get me? I thought we were gonna sign like Ben White or one of these these these, these average English uh, defenders, but we actually signed a top a top uh player. Hey, bro, I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, yeah, no no no. Later. Like, hey, hi, good morning. Hello, ma. Good morning. Um, hi. <laughs> I can I? I can I'm so sorry. I'm I'm really bad with names. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hi. I'm okay. Um, so Alex and I were putting together a little picnic, and uh, I would love it if you and Ella could join us. You would love or Alex will? <laughs> I see you already, uh... <laughs> I see you already know. Yeah. Lala told me about it. She's been disturbing me about Alex's picnic, but I, I don't know. So what's your answer? No. no well, well, I was ex hoping for a yes. You know, our kids are fast becoming best friends. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Um, but you see, I, I only have Sundays for my rests. I work six days a week, so I'm sorry. So I'm she sorry. mentioned that. She said mommy works even on Saturdays. That's why we set the picnic for a Sunday, you know. Is there anything Lala hasn't told Alex? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, because I think it's safe to say that our secrets are no longer safe. Exactly. <laughs> um... A picnic won't hurt, right? Is that a yes? It's a yes. Lala! <laughs> hey. 
thank you so much for coming out. You know, I'm bringing Ella as well. Mm. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I should be the one saying thank you. First, picnic, and now dinner. <laughs> Thanks so much. I appreciate. Daddy, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, high five. Did you have fun? You have fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> To go home. Just a minute, Mom. <laughs> Lala, you've been playing this game for hours now. It's close to your bedtime, okay? Come on. <laughs> hey, good luck guessing them off that game. God, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let them play, okay? Hey, you know what? what? I, uh, I have an idea. I think um, we should play too. Wait, wait, Ludo. Yes. You know what? You're what? I'm gonna beat you silly on this game. Don't don't be too no, proud. No, no, don't don't no, don't be too confident. No, no, no. I mean I have some skills. Really? Some skills. Bring it on. Right, Bring it on. It. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Come on, how is that possible? That's it. Okay, but you can count with me. <sighs> One, two, three. <laughs> and four. Why are you rubbing us in? Let just take it back. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> <sighs> but I told you. I told you I was going to beat you silly. You're so proud. But I won. Your <laughs> pride is radiating from you. Jeez. <laughs> but you weren't kidding when you said you were a pro. I told you. I mean, seven, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good <laughs> whooping. I mean, yeah. at least I got two. <laughs> I let you. You. Okay, I'll yes. eat that. I'll eat that. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you for indulging me. This was a lot of fun. Actually. Yeah, you know, I had fun too. I can't remember the last time I had this amazing time. It's always work, work, work for me, and just stand there, just maybe rest, sleep. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you do? Oh, I run an NGO company with my best friend at Desua. Hmm. Yes. Um, basically, we help single mothers and help the abandoned kids find new home. Yes. Wow. So I'm <laughs> sitting with a real life superhero. <laughs> Thank you. Where's your cape? <laughs> so you, what do you do? Well, uh... You know, I'm a, I'm a software programmer. That's, that's what I do. Ah, so you a tech pro. Uh, well, when you say it like that, I don't have any other option than to agree. <laughs> a funny tech pro. <laughs> it's fine. We get to see them all the time, you know. Yeah, well, uh, maybe that's because I'm always indoors. Because <laughs> I work from home full time for my job. Uh, you know, I just wish we could swap lives, you know. Ah, uh, be careful what you wish for, OK? Because. Most of the time, I'm, I'm, I'm home, just hold up in my small office space, you know. It could be very monotonous and boring sometimes, you know, but hey, <laughs> it's what I do, and uh, I kind of enjoy it, actually. Oh, my baby. Okay, fine, that's it. We have to go home. Uh, why don't you use the, the guest restroom? Oh, no, no, no. She's already feeling sleepy. Look at her eyes. Don't know where she gets She pee and sleep, okay? It's time to go home. Oh, oh no, nip. Oh, gosh. Ah, it's... Thank God they brought it back. I don't even have fuel at home. Oh, uh, actually, it's the inverter. Really? Yeah. Sorry, please, where's your restaurant? It's right there, right there. Thank you. You're welcome. My G, are you sleepy? Hey, uh, I have this 
spare room, you know? I mean, I just carried Alex in and he's sleeping like a log, he's exhausted. You know, they had a very um, fun field day. No, no, thank you. I'll just wait a bit until the light comes up. You sure? Yeah. I mean, it's a nice room. Thank you. Okay. I actually, uh... Thank you. What are you watching? You're watching wrestling? Yes. Are you serious? You like this? A lot. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Really? Yeah. I used to watch it a lot before, but now I'm so busy. But I still catch it when I can. Who are you chatting with? Ekele. Uh, uh, Your neighbor? When did he go from neighbor to Ekele? His name is Ekele. Yeah, I know. The mother I know does not address people she's not close to by their first name. What are you still waiting? I don't know. You tell me. Are you to an item? No. We only hung out after the picnic and we just chat once in a while. That's it. Wow. How long has this been? Um, a few weeks. And you're just telling me? Oh, it's not a big deal, okay? We're just friends. said I was about to kill him. Oh my god. Why do you think I rushed in here? Oh, kids say the darnest things honestly. Come on. <laughs> so you can't cook, huh? No, I can, I can, I can cook. <clears throat> I can cook. So why then did he accuse you of trying to kill him if you can cook? Well, uh, okay, you win. I can cook certain things, not everything, you know? So. Let me guess. Yeah. Noodles. Noodles? That's a good guess. Noodles. I make a mean Quaker oats. I know that the right temperature for the water to be boiled at, you know? And I make yam porridge really well. And also, it's my specialty. I make a mean fried yam. Okay? My yam chips are the best. They're really crispy, you know? Not because I'm burning them, but you know. <laughs> so how do you guys manage? Well, uh, I uh, have a lady come in here twice a week. She cooks and we put it in the freezer and uh, yeah, that's how we survive, you know. But she got married, right? So she said she won't be able to come for like two weeks. Oh. So we've been, we've been surviving on like bread and tea and biscuits. Today I tried to do something different, you know, to make okra soup and uh, I guess it led to Alex calling me and claiming that I tried to kill him. Okay. I'm going to help you cook. Oh. No. I'm not going to cook. Mm. I'm going to teach you how to cook or maybe make okra. Okay? Okay. I say yes to all of that. Good. All right. So let's go. All right, you go. I want to. I used to keep like a safe distance because I almost burned my face off when I was trying to. <laughs>
when love is in the air, it don't matter what you do, it don't matter what you say, love will surely make it through. It has never been the same since I set my eyes on you. You don't make me go insane, and it's all because of you. So, um, what's your story? Story? Yeah, I know a little bit. Um, Alex told me he saw Ella crying because um, her dad didn't want her. Is there anything these kids don't discuss? <sighs> They're like best friends now. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Um, well... Ella told me Alex said his mom left him too. Wow. <laughs> well, there's nothing to talk about. I guess they revealed a lot of secrets. <laughs> yes. But I didn't tell Ella everything. Your son cannot leave my daughter and go scot free. I won't allow it. So you know you are a widow. That's why you sent your, your son on my, on my daughter. You sent your son to defy my daughter. It was the devil that made me do it, sir. I'm sorry, sir. That devil kill you there. I said that devil kill. I'm sorry, sir. Is it the devil that says you control your manhood? I'm so sorry, sir. Is it? Son of yours, where is he? 
I don't care what his name is. Calm down as how. When my daughter is pregnant. Eh? Out of wedlock. Eh? Out of wedlock. Who says he is out of wedlock? Eh? They will still get married. So that you continue to repay my daughter, it will never happen. Never! Go and bring that to your son before I do something nasty. Look, nice. look, don't look at me. Finally, our parents agreed that we should get married. Three days later, Obi didn't visit as promised. So my dad went to their compound, only to find out that Obi and his son had traveled. What the hell? With the help of my dad, I had Ella, and I managed to finish the university. Three years later, my dad had an accident, and we lost him. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry to hear that. My mom became a ton in my flesh. She started to mash make me with any eligible bachelor or widower in the village. I got tired and ran away to Lagos with Hela. And today, the rest is history. I'm so sorry. No. You know, it's not a great experience. I'm sorry about all of that. No, no. I don't want you to pity me. You see Ella? She's everything I ever wanted. And I'm so grateful to God. Yeah. You. What's your story? Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, I met Cindy uh, my first year in school. You know, and we're together, and by the final year, she got pregnant. You know, so we decided to get married. Our parents were in support, so they helped us get an apartment, and uh, that's where our life together started. Wow. I guess yours is a sweet story. Uh, no, not really. Well, Cindy was not in love with being a mother, you know? She felt it clamped her down. So when Alex was four, she got an opportunity to leave the country, and she did without looking back. Wow. No, I, I can't imagine abandoning Ella, never. No. That's because you're a good mother. You care. To parenthood. Hello, hello, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, sweetie. I uh <laughs> I made you breakfast. Um I know it doesn't look like a five star meal, <laughs> but it's a five star meal from my heart. Doesn't look too bad though, right? Looks nice. Thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> so, do you make breakfast for every woman? No, I don't. You're the first lady I've made breakfast for since Cindy. Really? Yes, being honest. Last night didn't just happen. Okay, it's been building up. I liked you from the very first day I saw you. You know, when I came over to thank you for the cake Ella gave Alex, you know, I liked you. I mean, I was so impressed. You raised a daughter that would give her food to another kid, you know? Then I got to know about you. 
I mean, the work you do with the NGO and all of that, you're a very special lady. Mom, what are you doing in my house? <sighs> Mom, don't tell me you brought another suitor. I'm on my way. It's your father. Ella, go in. Now. Hello, Ma. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And you too! May that peace be with you. Mom, how could you? She brought this wicked man into my house! If I had told you, you would not have agreed. Please. He's not a pastor, please. Mom, you brought the rapist into my house. Why do you know the pain? Mom, do you know what I want you? Because of the pastor. Don't do it! Don't! He's a change man. <laughs> He's a change man. Hey, how's my big girl doing? I'm not fine. Why so? Um, Lala, go to grandma. Okay. So, how are you? Odesua, I don't even know how I feel. Like this woman is just driving me crazy. He's a change this, is a change that. I don't even know what to do. I'm tired. It's. Hey. Mommy, the bad man is in the polo again. What? Excuse me. Let's go. Hey, kids. How are you guys doing? What's up, G? You good? Ella, what's up? Why are you sad? Where's your mom? Auntie, I just I brought that here. Okay. Well, I came over to your house earlier, but your grandma told me that your mom wasn't around. Ella, you can always tell me. Remember, I'm your big brother. Not anymore. I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you again. Go home. Don't say that, Alex. That's not a nice thing to say, okay? Don't. I want to go home. You want to go home? Yeah? 
I'll take you home, okay? Home. Don't say that. All right. Alex, wave bye to your friend. Good. All right, let's go. Get out. Get out. Move, move, move. Please. Get out of my house. Please. Get out. Please. please. I do please. not want to see you. Please. Stand in my house. No. Leave my house, no. please. Get out. But please. I will disgrace you. Please. I will never ask you, Stanley. Oh, what Stanley, my house. Ma. Ah, Stanley. Ma. Stanley. Ma. Stanley. All I'm asking Get for out. is just one minute. Give me a minute of your time, please. Please. Please, honey. Stanley. Let me tell you something. You have 30 seconds to say whatever rubbish you want to say. 30 seconds, Stanley. Okay. Two years ago, I gave my life to Christ. I had several encounters with Jesus. And I became a pastor to the glory of God. <laughs> Ma, it's time I pray. The Holy Spirit keeps telling me. I should go and do restitution, honey, please. Honey, please. You must think I'm stupid. Please, I'm really Stanley, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, out. Please, out. Please, out. Please, I will respect you, Stanley. Stanley, help me. Somebody help me. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Wash him out. Look at you. Can you imagine this rubbish? Nonsense. Glory. Push him out. Machi. In the next few months, you'll become 30. And who do you think will marry with a child? Someone will. Even if the person will, will the person become a biological father to Ella? Think about it. I and your father gave you a very good upbringing. Won't you do the same for your daughter, your only daughter? At least, you and she and the father will be in the same house, living together. Tell him I'm not home. This Ekene again? You mean Ekene again? <laughs> Thank you for coming. Make it quick. I'm sorry for everything I made you go through. I, I was young. I was stupid. Please, forgive me. Really? Stanley. Which of your sins do you want to forgive you? Raping me? Or abandoning me? No, tell me. Oh. I really want to make it up to you for the rest of my life, if need be. I've wronged you. That's why I'm here, to make things right. Stanley, what do you want? I want us to get married. Son. Alex, how you doing? I've been looking for you. I miss them. Yeah, me too. Daddy, did you do anything to Auntie Mama? Did Ella tell you anything? I'm not talking to Ella. She said I'm not a big bro anymore. So why did you ask if I did anything to Auntie Mama? Because she, I did not do anything to her and she has been avoiding you, so that means you did something to her. Hey, ma, ma, no, 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 please, just give me a second, okay? I need to talk to you. It's been over a week now. Every time I show up at your place, they tell me you're not around and I see your car parked right there. If I didn't know any better, I'd have thought you were trying to avoid me. Talk to me. Ma, it's late. Let's start going. Ma, please, just give me a I second. I wasn't talking to you. 
Moreover, I don't talk to men who insist on discarding other people's words. Did she? She said, why a wife? I can explain. Yeah, that would be a great idea. What's Stanley going on? Stanley is back. What? Stanley. Why are we talking about Stanley? The same guy that left you to, to, to have a kid on your own? Okay, now he's a changed person. Oh, really? And you believe that? So you're getting married to him? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. To marry your rapist is the right thing to do. That's what you're saying. Don't say it that way. You don't understand. That, then make me understand. Because I don't understand. Everything I'm hearing right now is BS. Okay? I, it doesn't make sense. Do you know how it is to be in a relationship as a single mother? What do you, you say it like I'm not a single parent. I understand. I totally understand. You're a man. It's not the same for a woman. I have a child and no man wants me like that. Jesus, I can't believe you're the one saying this. I can't stop believe... Stop it. Do you know how many relationships I've had? Well, all ended in tears because no one wants a woman with baggage. Hey, that's where I draw the line, okay? I'm not going to let you call your daughter baggage. Don't ever do that. She's an angel. Oh. Do you think you love her more than I do? I'm doing all these things for my child. She has always wanted a father, and now her father is back. What do you want me to tell her? You want me to deprive her of that? Why will a girl of her age eat more than one piece of meat? Stanley, you're joking, right? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I'm not more hungry. Then will you shut up? Keep quiet! Stanley, why are you shouting like that? Stop it. She's my daughter. I can shout anyhow I like. You're not like that, I never be like that. <laughs> will you shut up? Stanley! Don't you slap my child again next time. She's being rude. And I will not be here to have her act rotten just the way you raise her. Stanley, you? You query my parenting? Well, you are the absentee father! Don't you touch my child again next time, okay? Rubbish! I will, I will take this! Rubbish! Rubbish! Okay? Did he hurt you? I'm sorry. Mama, what is the problem? You've been off lately. What is so I don't know if I'm making a mistake. Ella and Stanley are always fighting. I noticed. But mom says because she's not used to any other person except me. But it wasn't the case with Ekene and Alex. She was very receptive of them. What is what, please? I beg you, I do not want to talk about them anymore. Please. I don't know how one will go from being best of friends with her neighbors to being enemies. Shit. Hi, Stanley. I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm coming now. Please, take this to the office. I have to go. Um, I have an appointment with Stanley. We're going to meet the wedding planner, okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> so this is where you are after abandoning your wife back in Portacot. Eh? Excuse me? Hey! Close your mouth, look at her. You shameless Lagos girls that wouldn't leave married man alone. Anyway, you've entered one chance with this one because he's an important bastard. Look at her. I will make sure I tell your wife everything I saw here. I mean everything. Rubbish. I can explain. I can explain. 
It's not, it's not true. I can explain. I can explain. Listen to me, honey. What? If, you, if you touch me. Close my door! Honey, I can explain. I can explain. called and said you're still refusing to eat. It's been three days now. What example are you trying to set for your daughter? It is so tired. I feel so stupid and ashamed. The devil incarnates back into my life. And this is why I threw away something that looked like the beginning of a new relationship because of that comeback. <laughs> Ma, it's okay. Look, <laughs> it's okay. It's never too late. I mean, he's just next door. Hello. Yeah, hi. Um, you what? I I want to see Ken. I'm his neighbor. So you're yeah, Uma. I actually expected something better. Who are you? <laughs> his wife and um, Alex's mother. Anyways, the boys aren't home at the moment. They've gone to the embassy. Embassy? Yeah. Akuna decided that it was time for him and Alex to move to my London home. Table food is ready. Ani, aren't you joining us for dinner? No. Look, I want us to eat together like normal families do. So please join us. <sighs> Thank you. What you made for dinner? Yes, it's very nice. You made it a bit heavy, especially for well. It's fine. Just, just eat, okay? Yeah. Alex, what's wrong? Why is your face like that? It's salt. Daddy, can't you just go back to ordering food? No, not when you have your mommy here to make you delicious meal. Yesterday was pepper, today is salt. The other day was uncooked meat that almost put out my teeth. Wait, shut up, boss! I mean, keep quiet! I make sure you eat that food. You hear me? You eat that food!
Which is us and tomorrow we're cooking for us, not you. Shut up your mouth! Make sure you finish that food, you hear me? Talking to you, remember? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Guess what? What? I'm begging my mommy to post me in your school. Why? Because you'll be there, and if I meet any Susie that calls but me that less again, you beat her up for me. You want me to beat people up for you? Yes, isn't that what big brothers are for? Mm. Well, I can't be your big brother anymore. I already said I'm sorry. It's not that. My dad and I were going to London with Cindy. And I was thinking your daddy was going to become my daddy. Hmm. Come to your real daddy. I don't know. He hasn't been coming to the house. And I overheard mommy talking to her and say I just saw her dad. She never wants to see him again. Hmm. You, you are lucky I'm stuck with Cindy. Why do you keep calling her Cindy? Hmm? I don't know. I don't like her enough to call her mommy. Why don't you tell your daddy my mommy doesn't want to marry my daddy because I do not like him? Really? I'm working, okay? I'm working. It's been two weeks since I returned, and yet you haven't made love to me. You know I'm still your legally married wife, yeah, right? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? So? I'm trying to get some work done. This is how I pay my so, bills. But you should tell me! And why are you still off? I want to talk to my daddy. Hey, son. Come here. Why are you work? Why are you doing away? You don't like her. She's mean. Well, we already talked about this, okay? She's your mother. I mean, she she, she loves you. No, like Auntie Mima loves me. Well, um, Auntie Mima is uh, busy with her family. You know, she has a husband and a daughter. You're wrong. She only has Ella. She's not talking to Ella's daddy anymore. Are you, are you sure of what you're saying? Ella told me we are not talking again. Than I expected.
<clears throat> I heard you and Stanley didn't work out. Oh. I see you're here for gloats. Far from it. Okay, I just came here to talk. Talk? Yes. Oh, fine, let's talk. Are you still married? Not really. Oh, that's not. It's a yes or no question. Are you still married? Well, technically, yes, I am. Technically. Just calm down. Calm down. Okay. Okay. You. Can you fool me? You had. You had sex with me. It's complicated. Okay. It's, it's... What is complicated about committing adultery? Tell me! Ma, please, just. Calm down. It's a bit complicated. It's not straightforward, is there? Right? I mean. You know, a lot of things are involved. Leave. Look at you that was shivering like a chicken this morning. Now they've taken you to the hospital and given you malaria injection. Now you have the mouth to talk. That is so why it's not malaria. So what is it then? I'm pregnant. What? You're pregnant. Is, is it if I can? Eh? I'm not going to tell him. Why? That is so I do not want to destroy another woman's marriage. I don't want to. And how are you going to cry the pregnancy living next door with him? Once it starts showing, I'll just move out of the compound. My rent will soon expire, so it's better. Oh. Ma, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see that working. It's not a good idea. <laughs> so. Mm. Wow. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Let me see these at the top. Yeah, thank you. You have a visitor. You? What are you doing here? Leave. No, 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 please leave my house. I'm leaving. Fine. Safe trip to you and your family. Just leave my house. No. I'm leaving alone. I made a mistake many years ago, which I deeply regret now. I chose to live a life without my family. And now I want them back into my life. But I know that isn't happening because somebody else has taken over that space. I lied to you. Ekene and I 
aren't really married. We had an out of court settlement five years ago, but I refused to sign the divorce papers until now. I was hoping that maybe they would forgive me and take me back into their lives. But I see now that isn't happening. So please, please take very good care of my son. What are you talking about? He kind of loves you. I've been living with him in the same house for two months now, and not once has he touched me. And Alex, as hard as I try, he's still refusing to call me mom. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Please, just find a place in your heart to, to forgive him, okay? He's a mess without you. They both are. Um, Cindy, I... I wish I could help, but... I don't want to feel like I'm breaking your marriage. No, 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 no. I... I broke my marriage many years ago when I chose to abandon my husband and my son. Please, I would, I would feel safer if you were Alex's stepmother. I see how well you raised your daughter, Ella, alone. My, my taxi is waiting. Oh, okay. Bye. He's not married. I think you guys need your privacy. I'm gonna be in the room. She's pregnant. What? See when love is in the air. Wait, what? It don't matter what you do. What? What? What did she it just don't say? Matter You're what pregnant. You say. Love will surely make it through. Are you pregnant? You're pregnant. You're for me? Is it for? Is it for me? You're pregnant for me. Yes. You're pregnant for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See when love is in the air It don't matter what you do It don't matter what you say Love will surely make it through It has never been the same Since I set my eyes on you You done make me go insane and it's all because of you Now everything has changed since 
the moment I found you yeah. You didn't make me go insane And I'm gonna love And it's all because of you Girl, you taking me over And you done make me shiver So won't you be my lover My lover Cause I didn't fall for you Your love is taking over Girl, you the give me fever So stay with me forever Forever Cause I didn't fall for you And now this love is taking over Taking over There is nothing we can do about it And we can't deny this love is taking over Taking over I can't believe it There is nothing I can do about it And nothing you can do about it In the end It don't matter what you do It don't matter what you do It don't matter what you say Love will surely make it through Surely make it through It has never been the same Since I set my eyes on you Yeah, yeah That make me go insane And it's all because of you Girl, you taking me over And girl, you make me shiver So won't you be my lover My lover Cause I didn't fall for you Your love is taking over Girl, you the give me fever So stay with me forever Forever Yeah Cause now this love is taking Nothing we can do about it